and uh, I tweeted to him because recently he, he made, at that time, he made a comment about uh, uh, a typo called Kofifi, um, which many people didn't know what that was. And so I wrote in, in response, Kofifi, the man who controls uh, our country's nuclear codes, doesn't proofread his Twitter account. Uh, he blocked me for that. And I think that, you know, the president of the United States uses his personal Twitter account, you know, to make actual national policy announcements. And, and, and um, for instance, he fired Secretary of State Rex Tillerson uh, through his Twitter account. He fired uh, the, the secretary of the VA, David Shulkin, through his Twitter account. These are very, this is a very important information for me as an American citizen to see. And so it's not necessarily his personal Twitter account anymore if he is using it in his capacity as a president of the United States uh, to announce major policy changes and personnel changes. Finally, we just have 30 seconds, Dr. Gu, but um, you tweeted a photo of yourself taking a knee and raising a fist with the caption, I'm an Asian American doctor and today I take the knee to fight white supremacy. Uh, Dr. Gu, you were placed on paid administrative leave after the mother of one of your patients complained about that photo. Very quickly, your response. Yeah, so um, I took the knee to fight white supremacy because when I was an intern general surgery resident at Vanderbilt, I was racially and physically attacked in the parking garage uh, by a white supremacist. You know, he stalked me all the way up nine uh, flights of stairs at the hospital, uh, grabbed me by my name badge, nearly choking me. And so when I saw the NFL players like uh, Colin Kaepernick and Michael Bennett taking the knee to fight police brutality and white supremacy, it, it resonated very much with me. And so wearing the same hospital white coat and scrubs that I had worn the day that I was racially and physically attacked, I took the knee to fight against the, the very racism that I was the victim of. Um, it was a very personal thing for me to be attacked like that, and so I wanted to do a peaceful protest uh, to fight what happened to me, and well, uh, I was punished for it. I want to thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Eugene Gu, General Surgery Resident, Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville.